Hunter. Delighted to be joined by a couple of stars from this Kansas team, Hunter Dickinson and Kevin McCullough, Jr. Uh, Kevin, we'll start with you. A uh, big game coming up against Baylor tonight. I know you've been going through some things physically. How are you feeling? Where do you stand right now? Uh, yeah, man, uh, I'm feeling good. I'm a little banged up right now. Um, don't know if I'll be able to go tonight. You know, but it's going to be a big game. Uh, crazy environment is here. Um, you know, as always, the best fans in the nation. Um, but yeah, just looking forward to get back in on the court with my brothers. We're going to be cheering them on all night. It's going to be good. Kevin and Hunter, January is are the dog days of the season. February, where teams start to separate, and then it's a new season in March. And to win it, you have to improve through February. What are the areas or the area you guys think you need to improve most to, to win a championship? Um, I think, you know, just staying consistent. Um, you know, we're trying to string together a couple wins in a row here, uh, especially to try to win Big 12. And so just trying to be more consistent out there. I think, you know, some games that you saw were Houston. Uh, you know, we, we put together a pretty complete game, but then, you know, we come on the road versus one of our rivals and just, you know, kind of lay an egg. And so just trying to be more consistent, and I feel like that's what you need in March because you got to win six in a row. What do you think? Yeah, uh, piggyback off of Hunter. Yeah, got to be consistent. Um, you know, always coming out with the same fire, same energy level every game. Uh, and really starts on the defensive end with our team. Uh, once we're playing hard on defensive end, getting stops, getting out in transition, uh, you know, we can, we can get it done. You know, speaking of the word consistent, Hunter, you has been consistent all season long. I know your parents were athletes. I know you've got three brothers. Where did you learn the game of basketball? Who, who taught you how to play the game? Um, you know, I'd probably say I got most of my skills and most of my talent from watching my brother Ben. Um, you know, he, was a, he was a skilled big man back in the day. He could pass, he could shoot. And I, think I got my IQ from him just watching, you know, going to a lot of his tournaments and stuff like that. My parents made me go. So I think he helped me in the long run. Both of you guys transferred in in your career. What's it like playing in a full house in here, big game like last week against Houston? What separates this place from other places you played in? Hunter, start with you since you're here. Yeah, no, I mean, it's crazy. Like, the fans show up so early, you know, the students are so wild. I think it's just a collection of, you know, everybody being super loud. Like, some places you'll go and just the student section's loud here. You know, you got the old people, you got the young people. The kids are getting into it. Everybody gets into it here. And, you know, that's what makes it so special. Yeah, um, yeah, the energy level is crazy. Um, it's something I've never seen before. Um, as a guy that used to come in here and play on the opposing team, um, I was like, man, it's crazy in here. Uh, but now being on this side, I'm on the good side now, and I love every minute of it. <laughs> what, what, what's, the, what's the worst thing they said to you when you were, when you were with Texas Tech? Tech you... uh, they didn't really say nothing crazy, but I couldn't hear myself talk sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've, heard, we've heard you talk a lot. You're great at it. What makes good podcast content? Oh, um, you know, especially when you're talking about, like, like a rival or something like that. Maybe when I said, uh, I just said it. <laughs> but, no, like, you know, you know, because a, a, a lot of people nowadays are scared. You know, they're real vanilla um, when they talk about, like, other teams and stuff like that. And, you know, for me, I don't really care. So, um, <laughs> so but, like, you know, just, you know, maybe, maybe talking trash about a couple of fan bases, um, you know, on Twitter and stuff like that. Drea, I know you want to ask him what he wants He's, to say about Baylor. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 are you, are you, if you're a stand on business, you have something to say. Uh, <laughs> well, I might Baylor? have said, like, well, like, first Michigan State, like, the only people who go to Michigan State didn't get into Michigan, so that's. <laughs> 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 guys, wish you the best of luck. Appreciate you guys being with us. Always great to talk to you. Kevin, get well soon. Can't wait to watch you. Both these guys having all American type seasons for sure.